Good morning, everyone. When we were in Jerusalem on Shabbat, we had lunch at the Waldorf Astoria, and we invited Gil Hoffman to speak to us after lunch. Gil Hoffman is the political correspondent for the Jerusalem Post. And I met him for the first time, and I asked him where he was from. Originally, he said I was from Chicago, and I made Aliyah. And then he said to me, Chicago's a great place to be from, but Jerusalem is a great place to be from. You know, as Jews, our hearts and our minds are always directed towards Jerusalem. Every synagogue in the world faces east towards Jerusalem. Every Passover, we conclude with the words, L'Shana Haba Yerushalayim at the end of the Seder. And at the end of Yom Kippur, after we blow the shofar, we say L'Shana Haba next year in Jerusalem. What is so special about Jerusalem? So our rabbis tell us that Jerusalem below is aligned with Jerusalem above, which means the Jerusalem in heaven is parallel to the Jerusalem on earth, and all of our prayers go through Jerusalem. This week's Torah portion talks about Jerusalem, and the Torah portion says that when the farmer would bring his tithes, there was one particular tithe that was brought on specific years called Ma'aser Sheni, the second tithe. There was the tithe for the Kohen, for the Levites, for the poor and the needy. And then there was a very unique tithe called Ma'aser Sheni. Ma'aser Sheni is where the farmer would take 10% of his crop and he could eat it himself, but there's one stipulation. He has to take it to Jerusalem and eat it in Jerusalem. And if it's too difficult for the farmer to travel to Jerusalem with all of his crop to eat, he could sell it, take the money, and then go to Jerusalem and buy new food there and eat it there. And the question is, what is it about this tide that you have to eat your crop yourself, but in Jerusalem? And even if you can't eat the actual crop, exchange it for money and buy new food in Jerusalem. And the verse gives us the answer. The verse says, Laman tilmad, so you should learn lirat Hashem lakecha, to have awe and reverence for God. What the verse is telling us is by going to Jerusalem, by spending time in Jerusalem, by eating in Jerusalem, you will learn to revere Hashem. Just by being in Jerusalem, in that holy environment, your fear and awe and reverence of God will be elevated. And therefore, we have to physically go and spend time in Jerusalem. The first night we got to Israel, we went out to a restaurant called Joy in Mamilla Mall. And we invited Miriam Peretz to speak to our group. Now, Miriam Peretz had spent a Shabbat in Palm Beach Synagogue, and recently she ran for president of Israel. Now, she lost the election to Isaac Herzog, but that's because the vote is done by the Knesset members. The poll showed that had the population of Israel voted, she would have won. Why was she so beloved and popular? Because she is a heroic woman. She lost two sons in the army, but yet she has a message of carrying on our lives and our love for Israel. And she told us about her love for Israel and particularly her love for Jerusalem. And she said that when she grew up in Morocco, the first word she learned from her father and mother was Yerushalayim. And when she would go to sleep, her parents would tell her bedtime stories about the beauty of Yerushalayim in Jerusalem. And a lifelong dream of her family was to go to Yerushalayim and eventually they made Aliyah from Morocco to Israel. And she told us something very interesting, that the mayor of Jerusalem called her and said, we're doing a campaign to get Israelis during the summer to come spend time in Jerusalem, to stay in the hotels and tour and visit Jerusalem. Because believe it or not, there are many people in Tel Aviv and other places that never go to Jerusalem. So they asked her, the mayor of Jerusalem asked if she would be the face of this campaign. And she said, it will be my pleasure. And any salary she gets for doing this campaign will all go to charity. And indeed, when we were in Israel in the newspapers and on television, we saw Miriam Peretz sitting in hotel uh, beach chairs and going sky, you know, doing a sky zip lining and all sorts of things with children, showing Israelis the beauty and the excitement and the holiness and the joy of Jerusalem to attract Israelis to come to Yerushalayim. And it all goes back to this week's Torah portion that says, every Jew must go to Jerusalem. And even when you are anywhere in the world, you always face Jerusalem, think about Jerusalem, because Jerusalem represents the city of God, as we say in our prayers, Yerushalayim Ircha, your city God, a city of holiness, a city of peace, a city of reverence and awe, of God and by spending time in Jerusalem, we inculcate within ourselves a deep 
connection to Hashem and to the land of Israel. Have a wonderful day.